And the word for today is success. 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 Unfortunately, Gustav, you're two years late on your payment due to a lack of success. Wrong way, son. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was a snippet from season three of the hit show Southside featuring returning, excuse me, December 8th. And Tony is now with more on the show is its latest project and his latest project is co-creator, writer, producer, and lead actor, Sutan Sua Hadid. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you all for having me. It's wonderful to be here. I know hey, you're getting ready to jump up and down on me because I haven't actually seen Southside because I, I don't have HBO Max, <laughs> but I hear it is funny as all get out. You know, I heard the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it was very I mean, funny. It, it's got so much material to work with, you know? Well, the beautiful thing about that is you have two whole seasons to catch up, okay. and then on December 8th, you can start watching the new one, so okay. that works out perfectly. Okay. Absolutely, yes. We were talking a little bit on the break. I mm -hmm. love the fact that there, this is a show about the South Side of Chicago that is funny, because I feel like so many things that are shot on the South Side are dark and, and it's high to drugs. Give me a pound to that. Thank yes. you, sister. You know what it is? It's because we thought that it was important that we we bring more of the fun yeah. to the arena. Because um, uh, uh, like you were saying, other shows, they touch on other issues. Our thing was, let's make people laugh, let's make people feel good, and also, let's pe let people into the world of the South Side where they uh, can see, hey, yeah. it's not all what you right. think. It's no, a lot it's of fun. Right. I mean, we do survive, we are here, so let's explore that. And, and that's, that's And then we just saw yes. Chances in this. Yes. How yes, did you manage to rope him into that? Well, I think Chance is a big fan of the show. He's very talented, and he enjoys being on there. And I think he's in season two as well, and he's okay. gonna be in season three. So, yeah, I mean, he's a willing participant, okay. really enjoys having him there, and he's funny. Okay. So, you know, if you're funny, come on down. Oh, oh, okay. Can so I you're a you're writer on the show and one of the stars. Is yes. there one that you prefer more than the other? I love it all, Do quite you? honestly. It's, uh, to be immersed in all of it is a wonderful thing because to be able to help create what's going to be seen and then help act it out, it gives me somewhat of an advantage, but I, I enjoy all of the process because yeah. it's fun. Yeah. Now, you grew up on the South Side, yes. and so how much of this is based in your life experience? Well, let me go ahead and say that a lot of it is <laughs> <laughs> probably about 99.9%. .9%, but what it is is like in our writing room, we have a bunch of writers and we have a bunch of uh, people from Chicago. And I say in the writing room, we have a bunch of writers. Where else would they be? That's You're funny. Right. Okay. Um, but no, the writers are from Chicago. So they're really able to tap into that homegrown essence, but also uh -huh. making it funny. So if you're from Chicago, there's a little something extra from you, for you. And mm -hmm. if you're not, it's still hilarious. So yeah. And you do a lot for the Chicago community. You have a yes. nonprofit that yes. does stuff for kids, but also you as a, a great example for these kids. You know, oh. grew up on the South Side. Yeah. Now you're out in L.A. making big things happen. I mean, uh, it's got to be great for the kids that you work with. Absolutely. Uh, we're talking about Lane 44, mm -hmm. the nonprofit organization, and it's all about earning and learning alongside industry professionals, mm -hmm. you know, and to make feature films. And uh, we're taking donations. Okay. <laughs> so. okay. What are some, some of the things that the kids are able to do when they participate with you guys? Well, um, they're able to watch the light crew. They can assist with the light crew and learn how that process right, works. Right, because I know a lot of that is unionized, so how That's much right. can they actually you know, do. Um, they get the pretty much get their hands dirty. They're working as PA, so they're okay. actually oh, hired nice. and working alongside of them, okay. but they're also earning and learning. So it's a it's a hybrid program that we're really, really happy about. Oh, and yeah. you know, they get makeup department, hair department, lighting, grip, all of that. You get to be a part of all of that. Because there's so much in your industry, oh, yes. and, and this one too, that people don't understand how it works. And yes. there's so many jobs out there. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, a lot of times people um, want to jump in front of the camera mm -hmm. and that's that's great but there's so many opportunities behind the camera mm -hmm. and you have long-lasting careers there and so I think um, it's really important that we expose them to that so that they can make that choice down the road and have that experience I like the, the explanation of the name lane 44 yes. that's a term from movie land right um, <clears throat> Maybe? Uh, no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a name that we chose because 44 represents being able to make your own choices and create your own lanes, but it's also about a successful organization within the community. That's what the 44 part. And then the lane aspect of it is like, we believe that you can create your own lane and you don't have to go into one that's already paid for you. Okay, yeah. I've never heard 44. I thought that was something that was in the movie industry or something like that. No, no, no. Okay. that's Dumb. just the name we, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> that's just the name that we picked for the organization. Okay. And it, no, that's like the it. meaning behind it, lane okay. 44. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's okay. awesome. We love seeing Chicagoans doing great things. Oh, yes. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Uh, season of Southside drops uh, December 8th? Yes, December 8th. And I, 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 gotta, I have to mention this before we go, but I am here in town to promote the 64th annual Chicago Midwest Emmy Awards. So 
that is what I'll be hosting on tomorrow night. Yes, right. Yeah, so we'll and bring some of our colleagues are obviously um, gonna be nominated. Yeah, and so we're wishing them well. So if you can do something with the cards, anything yes. that says WGN, pull okay. it up. I'll do my best. I'll okay. do my best. You know, make a mistake like they did with you know La La yes. Land that year. Wait a minute, are, is this being recorded? I'll, uh, I'll work on it. Okay. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Right, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you.